Hello, my name is Somajit Goswami and today I am going to be the instructor for quantitative aptitude. I am hoping that you guys have seen this type of questions. This is a CAT 2022 functions question disguised in a quadratic equation format. A very 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 important question. I would ask you to please watch this video in its entirety. You will learn a lot many things. You can watch at 1.5x speed, 2x speed depending upon your comfort it will enhance your viewing experience having said that this will actually be testing a lot of your graph theory knowledge as well i have already explained graph theory in algebra 101 102 if you are interested you can go and check that out they are freely uploaded in the youtube if you are interested in my courses you can just check them out the link is in the description the question says let f of x be a quadratic polynomial in x such that f of x is greater than so first of all a uh, quadratic expression f of x can be written as a x square plus b x plus c now please stay put this is going to be a very interesting analogy so stay put just see what i am doing now for all that you know if x has if this thing for f of 2 equals 0 i know for f of 2 equals 0 this is going to be an upward parabola and for f of 4 equals 6 also is going to be a parabola but i am pretty much interested in this value f of 2 equals 0 because this is a root at x equals to 2 i am going to get a solution to the quadratic equation what do i mean now let me try and visualize let me try and make you visualize this thing so suppose i try to draw the parabola something like this Okay, something like this and this point is x equals 2 now this is going to be very 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 important because if you pay attention this is exactly at this point that this graph is symmetrical obviously it is a parabola so symmetry is a this thing and i'm explaining everything to you in you know first hand because things will become a little dicey in the next part of this video so basically what i'm trying to say is everything beyond this point x equals 2 will be equal to the function 2 minus k okay so this thing f of 2 minus k is equal to f of 2 plus k is important for a very specific reason and i'll explain that but right now you need to understand that this is coming only from knowing the fact that this parabola has to be symmetric around about this point x equals to 2 now if you need to understand this in details there is a you know there is this idea that i have already talked of in the graph theory session for our algebra crash course you can check that out but for our purposes what was the reason for me doing this now the reason is pretty obvious this expression ax square plus bx plus c will always have you know this intercept c and we need to calculate the value for c otherwise i'll not be able to calculate this f of minus 2 that to an integer value and why am i saying that because this c will always be there and if i start changing the values for x i can manipulate a and b but i'll never be able to manipulate c because c is an independent constant okay or if you are a little smart you will realize that the question has very you know smartly not given you the value of f of 0 in other words if you would have just substitute 0 for x in any expression you would straight away get the value of c or f of 0 will straight away give you the value of c now I, at this point i am hoping that you will appreciate the fact the idea that we used right from this thing I can just make use of this idea and I can work around this f of 2 minus 2 has to be equals to f of 2 plus 2 oh so f of 4 has to be equals to f of 0 f of 4 I already know is 6 so f of 0 will also be 6 which is going to be c now the constant term has come out to be c great I'll write it somewhere okay just for a steady reminder i'll write it over there c equals six okay now i'll erase everything if you want to take a probably screenshot you can take a screenshot at this point now you need to work with these values f of two and f of this thing 
so let's first of all use the value so f of 2 what does this means a x square so 4 a plus 2 b that is plus 6 i am directly substituting the value of c and that is equals to 0 it is given f of 4 is going to be 16 a plus 4 b plus 6 that is going to be 0 now first of all you know you don't have to worry about the 6 and 6 all you need to worry about calculating the value because there are two equations two variables you will be able to calculate the value of a and b so first thing i'll do is i'll multiply 2 in the first this thing equation and then i'll sub you know subtract that so this will be 8a plus 4b plus 6 uh, do i have to worry about this you could have actually i mean okay let's do this this is gonna be this is gonna be 12 and that is equals to f of 4 is actually not 0 f of 4 is equals to 6 keep that in mind you don't want to you know do any error and obviously this is 0 so this come this will be 0 only all right let's do some uh, you know subtraction business so this is going to be 6 and a negative this thing so that you will be getting a negative 6 a positive 6 and this one will come out to be 0 and this is going to be a 4a okay i hope i am not making any mistake okay this negative 6 will go to that side become a positive 6 and 16 minus it obviously is going to be 8a 8a is equal to 12 or a is equal to 12 by 8 that is equal to 4 3 is a 4 2 is a a is equal to 3 by 2 i'll also write that over here so i'll write it a is equal to 3 by 2 so i'll probably write that also now can i not calculate the value of b from this thing i think i can and let me use a different color for that so if i substitute that in the second equation which is actually looking a little easy i can do that which is 4 into 12 by uh, rather 3 by 2 plus 2b that is equals to minus 6 okay i'm just using this second uh, rather this one the f of 2 i'm using right this is going to be sorry this is going to be 2 this is 6 plus 2b is equal to minus 6 again you are getting the same thing you are getting minus 12 and b is equal to minus 12 minus 12 by 2 so minus 6 let me just check once if i have done any mistake no seems good 6 so yeah looks nice so b is coming out to be minus 6 now yeah that's it i have to calculate for f of minus 2 which is a x square so 3 by 2 into 4 plus b x which is minus 6 x i already know is minus 2 plus c that is 6 a x square plus b x plus c okay comes out to be 6 plus 12 plus 6 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 12 that is 24 now i am hoping that i haven't made any error in calculation if i had forgive me on that but f of 2 comes out to be this thing and that is the answer but you have to understand that this was very you know difficult question this was not at all so obviously it took me some time to explain it took me a lot of time to make you visualize the graphs but if you ask me in an exam condition how much time it will take me i think somewhere around three minutes this is not the type of a question that you do in round one this is a straight up round two question